Hello viewers, I'm SB, and this is Beast Breaker. Uh, I don't actually know a ton about this. I'm going to be honest with you. I bought this game entirely based on a single, like, 25 second animated trailer that showed almost no gameplay. But the little bit that I saw, I found very intriguing. So just come with me on this journey uh, into this game that stars a, I think it's a heroic mouse, and we're going to forgive them their mistake and just retcon it in our heads to be about a heroic rat who, you know, breaks beasts, I guess. You know, like big ones, the bad ones though, not just like any beast it comes across, I, I assume. I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, like that. Incoming transmission. All right, not exactly in tech level with everything else that we're seeing here. One final time, I ask you to raise your sword. The beast outside your farm has cornered me. Without intervention, I may not survive. Please. And so we've been recruited by a Google Maps marker into service against this giant crystal monster. Shard Nestrax. Yeah, of course. I knew that's what that was. Uh, yes. Yeah, so how does this work? It costs 60... I don't know. 60 paws. Deals one damage on bounce. So it's sort of... It seems like it's sort of a peggly kind of thing. And y'all know how much I am a sucker for that sort of thing. Let's try to bounce up into the... Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright. Course takes several hits to destroy. Scales are destroyed with a single hit. So I'm still not really sure what the deal is with the paws. Maybe it's like, oh, you move until you have covered 60 paws worth of distance. Okay. All right. Health drops to zero. The battle will end. Scales grow back every turn. Mouse over grow to find out more. The number of scales that it will regrow. Okay. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So we've got ourselves a nice opening here. I want to make sure that I'm bouncing off of this thing at an angle where I feel like we could... Ah. I did, in fact, do a bad job of bouncing myself out to a kind of a crummy place. Well, if we can careen off of this scale... There we go. That'll eat one of the regrows. Never mind. Won't matter. Skip Skipper's pretty cute, though. I gotta tell you, this coloration... Looks an awful lot like a rat I had once. Did I stop it? S stranger, are you safe? Oh, no one's here. Well, who sent that message? Well, I should get Granny's sword back before... Oh, seems like we didn't get before. Oh, okay. That was, uh, that was in fact, more than one critter. If you end your attack in the highlighted area, the beast will attack you for two damage, which is like a lot, actually. But then Granny comes to the rescue, or we remember Granny, maybe? No, Skipper! Quick, widen your stance, balance the blade, now strike the core! Thank you, Granny. I don't know how to sword fight, so it's very helpful. I just clicked right past the, well, whatever that, whatever that thing said probably wasn't terribly important. Okay, maybe this time we should, um, here, let's, let's break some stuff up, but definitely end up in the south part of the screen. Oh, or maybe, maybe do the exact opposite of that. Well, I thought I had a good plan there. So, okay, I'm going to try something sort of similar this time. Let's try to intentionally break off some stuff down here so that we can bounce around down here a little bit more safely. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and it will reorient, but we got ourselves in a pretty good position now. Okay. 
Skipper. Well, someone was in trouble. Anyone with a lick of sense should have sought sh should have sought shelter at the first beast footfall. Only a fool runs toward the danger. But they called for help. <sighs> You've good heart, and we'll talk about my sword later. Right now, we need to get our tails back to the farm before we risk a rampage, or, or you know that. Oh, change of plans. We're talking about the sword now. It's all right. I've got this probably. I'm less uh, less certain. Okay, so stay nimble and make calculated strikes to prepare for a stronger attack. So this ability generates charge. Okay. On bounce, deal one damage and gain one charge, and it travels further than the one we were using last time. So we can kill parts of this thing by destroying the non-vital cores. The vital core actually, like, beats it. But also, you know, I have to be a little bit careful with my health here. That went pretty well. And then once we have enough charge, we can throw down an impale, which pierces. On every step while inside a piece, deal one damage. That seems very powerful, actually. Uh, am I going to be able to, to get a double on either of these? Probably not, right? Maybe if I... Yeah, there we go. I don't know exactly what I killed there, but... Now you're all charged up. Now impale it with your sword point. I would love to do that. So it only travels us 15. I want to try to stay inside of this thing as much as possible, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then while we're back here, we can... I really thought I was going to hit this on the bounce off of the, uh, the fin up there. Okay. The farm's right in its path. Take out one of its cores to stop it. So, yeah, Rampage bad. Okay. So is it take out any one of its cores to stop it, or do I need to take out a core that seems like it's involved in the attack? These are relevant question. Uh, here, let's try to do this. All right, I guess we're going to find out. Um, I can... I could do an impale. If I angled this just right, I could kill that, but I feel like we should impale through here, right? If I do it like this, we'll kill the one. We will get a core, and we will see what happens. Okay. So you reset the rampage counter whenever you kill any core. Now that distracted it. Destroying a core lowers the beast's growth rate as well. Okay. No rest for weary paws. Strike the vital core and end this now. Granny is clearly not afraid of this beast at all. She's like, yeah, this will be a fine thing for the little one to practice on. Aw, that's a shame. That was really close to being kind of good, sort of. Well, let's not bounce that way. Perfect. Yeah, that's cool. I'm into that. <laughs> Beast broken, indeed. You see what comes of taking risks? That cousin of yours is a bad influence. Oh, that glittering. I... I haven't seen moats like this since I was just a scrap of a thing. How did that beast keep them inside it when the rest of the magic was chased away? Uh... I need to fire up the forge immediately. To fix something? No. Or perhaps. Perhaps. 
I'm telling you, it really comes off like a rat dwelling is all I'm saying. You know, rat, like rats is basically hobbits. And this, this feels pretty hobbit to me. So nothing to do here except like chill out and enjoy the beautiful art. Over in the kitchen, we're not allowed to cook or anything yet. Criminy. I guess this is like a reasonable scale, but wow, that's a strawberry. Hey, Grandma, what's going on? These moats from inside the beast. I haven't seen their like for, for over a generation. See how they shine so much more than the faint flickers we get around the crops? I don't understand it. But still, waste not, want not. Check your bag. Oh. Yeah, they've tangled into a spark already. Not surprised. You know, back before, we'd find one almost every time we went out wandering. The magic was that plentiful. And they were always worth gathering up, because sparks need to be untangled. And if we help the magic flow again... Well, here, I'll show you what I mean. Well, that's pretty. Alright, so we have a shimmer spark and a blossom spark. And I guess we can make... Oh, neat. I Yeah, I'm going to very much enjoy, you know, finding new equipment with new loadouts and abilities and stuff. So this is Strike. Cracked cores take plus two damage. That's cool. And then a defensive charge that will gain us some block. Okay, neat. That's a, that's a cool set of abilities. Now, the moats are free to replenish the world, but they've left some of their power behind in this equipment. And also a sturdy tunic. Plus five max health. Gain one action when you damage this tile. Okay, so each each turn a scale will become this bonus tile. Okay, that seems very powerful. The fire lit, the sparks crackling. Ah, it's like being back there again, forging a new blade. And watching a relative nearly get themselves killed. You said you saw a critter and thought they needed help. No, someone asked. With this. One of those? Uh, they've started showing up the past few days. They look like trouble to me. I've been locking them in the cellar. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we should go look at the cellar then. A whole box full? One still moving. Time to put this new sword to the test. <sighs> You're grown now, and I'm well used to having warnings ignored, but I'll say it regardless. The world will always be filled with critters in trouble. I don't want you to be one of them. Even if magic might still be out there. <sighs> Take the better sword, at least. Yeah, probably a good idea to equip a thing. And we get a Renown bonus, whatever that is. Okay, I guess... Wait, swap. Huh. Why does it say New X1 here? I mean, we had, like, we had a new thing in each slot, right? It's strange that it's only marked on the Sword and Shield. Oh, hey. Well, we found trouble quickly. Rushing in heedlessly makes for a fool's fight. Tailor your attacks to the gear you've got. Yeah, so... Okay, it's that one. That's not in a super great spot for me. Ah, shoot. Okay, we, end, we ended up in an okay place. So you're gonna grow back six scales. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit. It feels very unlikely to me that we're gonna get that bonus action, but we can just do some damage here. And oh boy, yep, not too smart. I really thought I was gonna bounce more in here. Oh, use your shield. A defensive charge will prepare you to block incoming attacks. 
So is one block a health prevent, a health loss prevented, or is it like a whole attack just doesn't happen? I don't really want to use, you know what? You know what, Grandma? Don't tell me what to do. I'm, fi I'm figuring it out. Uh, let me try to... We really want to bounce through and get behind this thing, right? That's just going to hit that spike and come back. Let me try something like this. Okay, well, not exactly how I thought I was going to do it, but it'll work. I'm just going to bank a lot of charge for the moment. That is my plan. Hooray, we did it! So it doesn't say whether Cracked is a permanent modifier or not. 25 steps, apply Cracked. So I would love to get it on the, the main body, obviously. Well... Ooh. All right, got a little risky there. All right, you know what? Let's let's try out a block. More moats. Scamper quick to gather them. Turns out I have a hard time getting hit on purpose. We're going to we're going to take plenty of hits accidentally. Ah, uh, boy, I sure would love to scamper quick. So this will get us within the circle at least. Yeah, that'll do. And then this fell out of it too, right? Is this is this also... No, that's not. That's just art. So do I still have my block? Hmm, Granny wants me to build a blocking power for defense, but could I channel it into a shield bash instead? Yes, yes I could, and that's exactly how I intend to do it. Uh, there's a second tooltip popping up there that I can't read, and I'd really like to be able to do that. There we go. The amount of damage you can take before it affects your health. Okay, so you're building up one point of block per bounce. Right, right, so of course you accumulate a bunch, yeah. So Shield Bash is a lot of extra steps, and it does do two damage per bounce. But like, do I think I'm gonna be able to get in there? Uh, if I do something like this, maybe? Not quite, it turns out. It's an awful lot of extra running for <laughs> for very little benefit. Uh, I was really just trying to do, like, I thought a thing that would, like, do some damage to something that but was going to end us up in the corner safe did not count my steps well. Patience pays off. If you spot flaws in the beast's core, you'll do more damage with each blow. Yeah, no, I, I know how to read my abilities. Thank you, Grandma. Okay. I think I ended in a place where I can guarantee a hit on the special. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not really making much out of it, sadly. Uh, I probably do want a defensive charge because apparently I'm not very good at predicting where I'm going to end. It's difficult to look at like this many steps and go, yeah, I'll extrapolate from here to 80 pretty simply. Yeah, this is all right. We'll do it. We'll do it like this. I'll just break some, break some scales here. You can't regrow everything. Yep, definitely very uh, cool and intentional. That one. It's true, it was cracked. All 
All right, got ourselves some more reagents here. A tangle spark, a placid spark. Okay. So. Ah, we picked up moats, not whole sparks. We just discovered new types of sparks by picking up their moats. Okay. Well, then I guess let's just go out and look for more trouble. Okay. You're not the one I expected to answer my message. Y you! Y you're... The stranger you tried to help, yes. Tell your grandmother you met someone named Cinnabar. That they're a mail carrier. Could there be any more sinister profession? Of sorts. And that they bear missives from those in desperate need of... Who? Where are they? Eager, aren't you? There's a beast stalking a settlement at the furthest edge of Bramble Hollow. So now the only question is... What do you plan to do about it? It's weird that it only hisses like one out of every three S's. A town at the end of Bramble Hollow is being menaced by a beast with metallic scales. Hey, that sounds like exactly my kind of thing. Hold on. It's still saying... So, like... What does new mean? If I've already... I feel like if I've already used it, it's not that new? I, okay, whatever. It's fine. It's a good sword and everything. Ah, oh, sap and splitters. It's heading due. So it's still heading due south. Those folks ought to evacuate right quick. Whoa, whoa, you there! Slow your skedaddle. Needle beaks like this have mighty fine hearing. Now I've been tracking the trajectory of this one, and there's about to be big trouble, and I do mean big. Well, I'll help. Uh, help me warn the townsfolk. You mean? Oh, hey now, wait. No, I mean help with murder, obviously with a great deal of horrible violence, as I often do. Okay, this thing's like a lot of colors. Uh, if you're really tangling with that beast, you'd at least take some pick-me-ups. What are words? Who even needs words? The scout has given you some consumables. Okay, a couple of charge potions. That's pretty cool. So, the purple ones, I'm assuming, are unbreakable, and these are just scales that have that have multiple hits on them. And it's going to regrow a lot of scales every turn. This seems like kind of a nightmare. Okay, let's try to get down here in the sweet spot. Okay, that feels pretty productive. I mean, we're not going to be able to spot flaw even if I do hit this. So I think let's just do a normal strike. How am I going to get multiple hits off? Uh, that didn't that didn't bounce the way I was hoping. Okay. Yeah, this thing sucks. <laughs> Fighting this thing is the worst. Uh, I feel like it's not that hard to break these off. I think I'm inclined to leave that. Where's my bonus action tile right now? I can't actually tell. Hmm. Alright, I got one real damage in. That'll have to do. All the way over there, huh? Let's defensive charge. Well, I mean, from here I may as well hit it. And then... Shield Bash is going to give me a lot of bounces. It'll let me get 
through some stuff. Beast's element determines its composition, shape, durability, and sometimes even behavior. Okay, so there's... There are, you know, there are a couple of systems here we're not, like, fully in on yet. Oh, no, stop. Okay. Ooh. That... <laughs> I could have gone better. You know what? Give me some charge here. Can I get myself in there? I, I want to, like, wedge myself in between the tines. I don't think that's quite going to work. Oh, talk about papping your step. Let's see what you can do with this. Okay, well, like not a whole lot, actually. It's super, not super relevant to the situation I find myself in, but I appreciate the thought. Ooh, okay. <laughs> a little, little bit on the close side there. I don't know that this is really very valuable. I guess, okay. It's free to do it, and it might end me up. I was kind of hoping to end up up here somewhere, because I had really misread how one of those bounces was going to go. So this is going to... You know what? This is pretty likely, I think, to let me apply Cracked to the central core. So this is, this is pretty solid. I really wish I'd gone for the extra action. Okay, I mean, that was productive at least. So... Could defensive charge into here... I'm past the 90 degree mark there, right? Like it'll, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good outcome, I think. Uh, and then if we, ah, uh, this is actually really awkward. Um, I could crack that, but yeah, let's just kill this. Because that way is is very little uh, very little scale regrowth. Okay, as a first real battle, I really like the way this has gone. Boy, being like basically inside this scale does complicate things slightly. Yeah, this is really awkward, actually. Uh, shield Bash will get me a lot of bouncing. I could just... Yeah, sure. Let's just press the Go Fast button. There we go. You take enough steps. Eventually, you're going to get there. Was I under par? I don't know if there was a par, like a par notification on screen. Wow, you're a real champ. Thanks, friend. Well, blow me over with a breeze. You may be tiny, but talk about making a big impact. Uh, yeah, I sure did murder him. Uh, the name's Jonquil. Feel free to look me up if you ever find yourself in the hollow again. Hmm, unless it's finding yourself back out of the thicket afterwards that has you fretting. 
Mm, maybe. <laughs> I'd be happy to help with that, champ. After what you just did for those folks, least I could do. Oh, th thanks for inviting me in, ma'am. That's real hospitable. Yes, well, seemed only right after what you did for Skipper. Oh, Skipper did the hard work themselves saving that settlement. A rescue worthy of the Whiskersmith twins. Just me and my grandchildren now. No need for a fuss. Wait, do you mean... Uh, soak me in a stream, how did I not realize? The, the forge, that scar, you're... you're... Oh, here we go. You're Thistle Whiskersmith! Oh, oh, it's a real honor, ma'am. If there's anything I can do to lend a paw, you just say the word. Hmm. I don't like Skipper out there alone. And we do have plenty of chores around the farm. Yeah, I suppose there's room enough. You can stay for the moment. Aw. That's probably not great for the chair, would be my guess. Yeah, yeah, you can see, actually. Jonquil is adorable. Uh, yeah, we still don't have anything going on in the kitchen. Did we get enough? Well, hold on a second. Uh, these unsettling messages swooping about. I'd hoped this family was done being at the world's beck and call. Clearly, that was wishful thinking. This is important. Yeah, I thought so too, once. If we save the world... Look, maybe just focus on saving one settlement at a time. I know your intentions are good, but... My old sword may prove heavier than you think. So, that was her. Not what I expected from the stories. Then again, stories tend to change with the telling, don't they? So... What do you think of her concerns? Hmm. I suppose your actions speak louder than your words. Okay, that's cool. We're just that guy's just got like just in our house, slithering all over the place now, huh? Cool. Uh, sorry, not that. I wanted to see. Okay, we're at like a half or more on each of the things. Sadly, not enough to do anything with yet. So, wait, let's go back and talk to John Quill. Can I... Nope. Nope, I guess John Quill's busy taking it easy already. John Quill offers to teach Skipper the art of tracking beasts. Hey, John Quill, this village uh, uh, asked for help, but... Hmm, yeah, Tangledale's real deep in the hollow. Navigating those thickets gets pretty tricky. <laughs> Not to mention it takes a whole slew of different skills dealing with beasts out there. Ah, hey now, no no need to wring your whiskers, champ. How's about I teach you to track? No bonus. Huh, that's a weird... Maybe different types of equipment will get bonuses in different places or something? No, definitely equip. Okay, well, let's just go. Ah, nothing like a jaunt beneath the majestic brambles to put a spring in your step. You know, I spotted some sure signs of beasts, though. You just keep a sharp eye. Now, a good scout always keeps useful materials at hand. Lucky for us, where there's thorns, there's berries. Okay, there's like a, like a tactical map kind of thing going on here. I love berries. Now, best we save those for the talented village folks. Tempting as it is to take a nibble. Uh-oh, but I angered a tusk crawler. There it is. Sap and splinters. If that thing barreled into Tangle Deal, it'd be a disaster. Whoa, whoa, but let's hang back a moment. A beast like this, you probably want to do some reconnaissance first. Uh, okay, so just stand on a space adjacent. Is it going to move every time I move? Is that how this works? Aha! That's what us scouts call a shard beast. A few explosives will make quick work of its scales. You head on over to that settlement. We'll get something cooking. Oh. Psst, Skipper, we better do a mite more preparation before we barrel in. Yeah, no, did you tell that thing that? Now, you can't always rely on noble caravans out here, so we make do. 
and make some real swell stuff. Of course, it gets tough for folks to gather materials when a beast is on the prowl. In a situation like this, I recommend an explosive essence. Yeah, they're handy things, essences. If we swap one onto your weapon, that'll give you all sorts of new ways to damage the beast. And not how we'd normally use them, but, you know, most folks don't normally wrestle with beasts like you do. Okay, so I need three berries for this. Well, let me go, let me go get a berry. Boy, that thing is uh, headed right for us. Now, let's go show that beast a thing or two. So essence is applied on the first three bounces per turn, I'm hoping. Causes an explosion, dealing one damage to scales in a small radius. Uh, I guess let's, let's go do the thing. You approach the beast. It does not see you, for you are small and adorable. And thus, a sneak attack. I do love this entrance animation. Okay. Go on, give it a strike, and you'll see what makes what makes that essence so essential. So we just want to hit in a place where the scales are dense, but I also got to consider this bounce. That didn't work. Okay, I mean, that's pretty productive. Oh, yeah, it's three, three bounces per attack. That's actually really nice. Okay, uh, so we just got to start breaking stuff off so that we can get the grow value down, right? I'm starting to, I'm starting to grasp the strategy here. Although with the explosions, we can actually just, I feel like, do enough, um enough t damage to a like do damage to a large enough total number of scales that we can outpace the growth in that way all right definitely shred a core Feeling pretty good about that. I'd be lying if I said that that was like the plan, but, but I feel pretty good about it anyway. Uh, okay, that's that's gonna let us hit the, the extra thing, right? Ooh, actually, I don't know. Am I actually gonna hit that? Well, you know what? I'll hit it if I take enough steps. Okay, there we go. I almost just want to end the turn. Now nah, we're fine to get a little bit more aggressive here. Like even, even if we took damage on that, it wouldn't really matter. All right, and now we can spot flaw into the action crystal. Did I not? I did, I did not, in fact, hit the action crystal. There we go. Wow, just just awful work, really. There we go. I did I did something. So will these will these? Okay, they do fade out over time. But it only matters so much, right? If you just kill the damn thing, then who cares? But I suppose it, it seems like being more thorough and breaking off more cores is going to give us uh, potentially a larger number of shards. I guess it's not clear to me whether when we finish the beast off, we get all the shards for the remaining pieces, because it does spawn shards at the end. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to play a little bit more and hope that that becomes clearer to us. Beast traits scouted gives you a little bit of bonus renown. Pools remaining. Don't know what that is. 
Okay, old weapon. Ah, you get a renown bonus for using new weapons. I encourage you to switch stuff around. I see. Oh, things got a tad vigorous out there. Still, I sure feel refreshed. Don't you? Somehow, it seems like sitting back and watching me fight was not as tiring as the actual fighting was. You, um, you know lots about beasts. Oh, not that much. I just noticed a few patterns over time, wandering out in the wild like I do. You had my whole life to watch them, too. Moats, I can barely remember the time before they showed up. And there's all types of beasts, you know, taking on all sorts of different forms and all kinds of environments. And sometimes it make makes me wonder if they're like nature's guardians. Rampaging because they sense the magic is missing. Hmm. Well, you never know. Hey, maybe if you keep finding ways to bring back magic, you'll calm them all back down. Until then, no matter what their motives, long as they're threatening critters' lives, yeah, I'll keep fighting. It doesn't feel like the best solution, though, does it? You... you've heard of Granny? Heard of her? Oh, when the beast first struck, most critters turned tail and hunkered down, hoping it'd pass. But not her. She and her sis were out there every day, fighting tooth and blade. Now, we didn't call those two legendary warriors for nothing. They saved hundreds, no, thousands of settlements. You know, once they even fought a writhing river beast that was this big. Uh, I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Uh, apologies, I didn't see you there, ma'am. But, you know, I, I watched you two fighting that day. That was my village you saved. Oh, I, uh, I didn't realize how callous of me. Nah, don't worry yourself. I was just one youngster in a cheering crowd. You wouldn't have recognized me. But now you're a scout, I see. It's a fine profession. I worked with a few back in the day to stock our forge magic. Well, I sure am. Though, mostly I keep watch for beasts nowadays. Not enough magic left to go searching for sparks. Though, if you don't mind me saying so, the moats around your farm are shining something special. Uh, maybe it's a sign that the world's finally going to start bouncing back from all this. One can only hope. This game is almost too cute to stand. I feel like it's giving me cavities. Where's Poppy? Uh, according to this note stuffed in the bread box, that wayward cousin, cousin of yours went out foraging. Again. I'd feel better about it if she weren't so prone to getting distracted. I still shudder at the earthworm rodeo incident. Anyway, you, you keep a lookout. Okay. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll find Poppy out on our next little expedition here. Any more lessons? Uh, for tracking, you mean? Oh, I'm honored you think my ramblings can help you out. But yeah, sure thing. I could probably find a few more tips rattling around in this old noggin. I'm ready when you are. Well, I guess I'm as ready as I'm getting. Alright, the brambles are real dense here, and you can hardly see past your snout. But here, lay a paw on the vines. You feel that faint trembling? There's a beast about. And I'll bet I know where it's headed. That there's a corruption pool. Careful, it's poison for critters like us. But poison for us is tasty for beasts. They love those pools, so they always walk toward the nearest one. Here, let's scout around and try to spot that beast. Okay, so here's our pool. Uh... Now let's head deeper into the undergrowth, champ. Better to learn what we can sooner rather than later. Okay, so I, am I allowed to move like any number of spaces in a single in a single movement? I guess so, and it doesn't do a it doesn't do a draw until we stop. Oh, you hear that roar? The beast just swallowed down a corruption pool and got stronger. And it's like clockwork. Beast head from pool to pool, drinking them all up, and then smash straight into the village. Ah, right, come on, let's grab some supplies and cut it off at the pass. The sooner the better. Uh, so we don't know what other... Oh. So we've learned its element. Weak scales and sturdy cores. Okay, it definitely just moved over here. I was trying to end up adjacent to it. 
I mean, we have a lot of materials. So let's come back here and craft an essence and then I guess just go for it. Yep. It has decreased RAM. <laughs> so the corruption pool has lowered its reset. It also has increased attack. Okay. Feels like we should probably stop it from consuming the settlement. All right, well, this is starting to look pretty familiar. Reckon we know how to fight one of these at this point. It's really not where I intended to end up. Okay, I am very pleased with that amount of damage. So shield bash is... Even base value shield bash is still a pretty impressive amount of damage, especially in a situation like this where we can... Yeah, I feel pretty good about that opening. I guess I should go through the... Yeah, all right. Well, I managed to very expertly not actually break anything there. Ow. Yep. Five attack is fairly serious. Oh boy, that is not how I thought that bounce was going to go. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's good here. Uh, almost what I wanted. It's kind of hoping I would bounce into that. Well, I almost killed it. So it doesn't seem like there's an on-screen indicator of, of like a par. We know it is tracking. I mean, why would I do anything other than... All right, we definitely have enough, uh, enough moats to make proper things here, or enough pieces of moats. Also, we got all this renown, and I have no idea what to do with it. Great work today, champ. Let's head home and rest up. Cinnabar will regularly deliver requests from settlements who need your help. Okay, cool. But, got something else to focus on here. So we found a new spark type, and we do have enough for the tangle now. So the Revenger, it has basic strike, enrage, deals two damage on the bounce, add four taunt. If this is the first bounce, increase attack by two. While taunted, the rampage counter does not go down. Okay. Does it really keep its keep its attention on us? So that costs thirty five. I wish the um I wish the costs were visible on the abilities now, the same way they are in battle. Gain six block on bounce on the first bounce deal three damage. This is a this is a very different weapon. Deal damage equal to its attack to the attacking core. Boy, it's not always obvious to me which which core an attack emanates from. But alright. So retaliate one hits the beast for damage equal to its attack. That's interesting. And we need to finish a Placid to get the next piece of armor, which we are one short of. Okay. These really don't take very long. You burn through a lot of these real fast. Here, let's do, let's do one more for today. So, you're the so-called mail carrier sending these messages. I didn't see you there. I don't have eyes. You know, it's kind of an unfair advantage you have. 
I'm impressed that you managed to sneak up on me. Clearly, you still have some of your skills. I'm impressed you managed to keep away from me this long, living inside of my tiny house. Which means you have skills of your own, and I'd rather learn them now. Skipper may welcome you, but this is still my farm. I want to know who you are. You know my name. You know how to refer to me. You know what I do. Can't that be enough? Forgive me if I don't trust so easily. I sympathize. But neither do I. Okay, so it's not really like a whole conversation. That's fine. We'll just we'll just leave it off in the middle. No big deal. Uh, so we could go find Skipper, or we could go defend places. I mean, am I going to have to defend these places? Also, what is Renown actually doing for me? Doesn't seem like anything yet. Uh, neither one of these drop Placid. Let's um, let's do this. Well, not every day you see someone going up against a beast. Uh, <clears throat> a beast. Much less whisker to whisker. You're a natural. But I, I got a question, champ. You ever thought about, like, switching up your strategy? Hmm? You know, like, uh, like how crops start drooping if you only ever grow one kind. And change is real refreshing. For example, if you'd ever like to try your paw at a good old bow and arrow. Yeah. I guess I hit a bullseye with that one. Let's head out when you're ready. I know the perfect field. Okay, so what do we got here? Move steps equal to your current charge, gain three ammo, one time on arena bounce. So is that like off the wall, maybe? Fire arrows, apply essence. Right, you know, let's just get in here and start, start messing with it. Alrighty then, here's the new bow I just whittled up for you. Now let me give you a few pointers. That's not really, like, the arrows have points, but so did my sword. It doesn't feel like a very specific pun is all I'm saying. Now this trusty bow has some key differences from that hefty sword of yours. And most critters aren't buff as your granny. Using up all that sword swinging energy really tuckers you out. Now with bows on the other paw, you gotta set yourself up for future success. Now first things first, you need to scrounge up some ammo. Let's get ready to roll. That's not even really... Okay. That's unrelated to the bow. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. So, on Arena Bounce, gain one ammo. So... Now that your quiver is sporting a few arrows, take aim and fire. Okay. So, that costs charge. You're gaining charge at the beginning of the turn. Then you're spending the charge to... All right. Weird. So it's a weird thing. All right, fire two arrows in a straight line. Applies your essences. On scale bounce, bonus chance to deal damage. Okay. Well, we may as well shoot for this, right? Great work, champ. You got a real knack for taking action. I figured for you that'd be simple. But don't burn out now charging ahead. The tough stuff is holding back. When you start getting drained, just take a moment and breathe. It'll all pay off in time, I promise. Oh, interesting. So, it was showing plus 10 per turn. It must be the case that each ammo you hold at the end of the turn is 10 charge at the beginning of the next turn. But it feels like I would really want to just finish firing here, right? Because, like, we have this very good shot. It didn't go quite where I thought it was gonna. I thought I thought that was gonna, that was gonna go down a little bit differently. Well, whatever, it's fine. Ten is all we need. Okay. So it doesn't always even deal damage. Pummel shot always deals two damage on the core scale bounce. On every step, while inside a scale, deal one damage, while inside a core, half a chance to deal one damage. So you really do need to, you need to roll quite a bit of, okay, quite a bit of charge over from previous turns. All right, so I'm not gonna go straight for the cores here. 
We'll do what they asked us to do, end the turn with some charge so we can try the, the fancier abilities. Alright, now you've got the strength for a whole flurry of arrows. Reload and then fire away. Okay, so it, it wants me to do pummel shot. Pummel shot's fine. Uh, let's go out here. So three arrows in a cone, it will do two damage each to a core. Do I want to try to, like, we can actually destroy a core if we're smart about this. It, it doesn't make a ton of sense, I think, to shoot at the one that has five health. How much do these bounce? Some. The answer is some. I recommend saving some ammo if you can. An arrow in the paw is worth 10 on the field. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I mean, we may as well arrow flight. We'll pass with 40 up. Do I think that I can... Uh, I might be able to get some damage out here. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So this gives me enough for a snipe bolt. Boy, reload roll gets, uh... If you're careful, when you end your turn, uh, you can really reload roll an incredible distance. And it is still tutorializing me. It does not want me to do the other thing yet. Uh, well, I guess we can do this and then crack some cores from back here. So each step inside a core, 50% chance to deal one damage. Like it's not, it's actually not that likely that we would kill these. It could happen. But yeah, I do wonder if it's better to do something like that. And just break more scales. All right, you know what? You know what? Let's just pummel shot. So we have five ammo. Let's. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can just break this thing back here. I'm just going to try to reduce the. Uh, apparently my aim was not quite, uh, not quite so hot there. So if I spend 10. Game three ammo. That gives us the ability to arrow flight again. So we've got its grow down low enough now that we can actually keep it from recovering all of its scales. And then I just, well, do I want to pass turn now? I mean, I do have the core open. The problem is arrow flight is so unlikely to do real damage to the core. Let, let's, let's pass now with a big ability up and most of the scales removed. We'll see what regrows. Okay. So we always have to start with a reload roll because you don't have any ammo at all at the beginning. Which is a shame because I really want to shoot from where I'm standing right now. Right, because this pummel shot's actually very good. Uh, and then... Can I get the... Yeah. That's a, that's a weird one. It definitely feels very different, which I appreciate. Okay, awesome. Also, we got some plastic stuff. And look at all this renown. Ah, splinters. Looks like the edge of your cloak got pierced. Uh, sorry, I'll explain it was my fault. Uh, say, would you like my old scout cape while we patch it up? It'll work seamlessly with your bow. I I'd wear it myself, but sadly I'm not cut out for capes. 
And with clothes like mine, capes get cut out by me. In fact, you might say they end up dismantled. And they like it, which is good enough, I guess. No. <laughs> Anyhow, you want it? I mean, it might be a tad big on you, but... Eh, that's fine, I'll have it. Thanks. Okay, so we got a new class of weapons available, which is neat. Uh, also, a Scout's Mantle. Gain five ammo. Okay, the bonus tile gives you five. Wow. Gaining five ammo is pretty significant. Right, let's drop by the forge here real quick and craft the new thing we're allowed to craft with this. A Bronze Braid Surcoat. 20 charge when you damage this tile. That's also very compelling. I think we actually will have a, a real decision to make here. Okay, so probably there are two more classes of weapons. Um, I have no idea how long this thing is, by the way. Uh, but I think this is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, when you come back next time, tomorrow, uh, there's going to be approximately another hour of beast breaking. Uh, and, and like I said, I have no idea how long this thing is, but for the moment, I am just like overjoyed to be here. I'm really excited to, to see what we have coming up tomorrow. And we'll see you then.